everybody, it's Chris from Big Tech's Ordnance. I'm here again with Brian from SlyTac Training, and today we're going to talk about his patrol rifle. Yeah, man, so this is my patrol rifle. This is my uh, my range gun. This is something I travel with all the time. Uh, this is the 13.7 from Trark, um, which I'll, it's been good to me, right? I've, I've been using it quite a bit. I don't know the round count on it. You could probably tell it's it's been pretty <laughs> beaten up. It's seen a lot of mileage, right? And so, yeah, this is it. So nothing too crazy on it. Kind of what I look for is something that is uh, not heavy, right? I have a couple of things on here, a little bit of lights, lasers, no suppressor at this point, right? So it's not too front top heavy, but it's a good platform, right? I've had no distance. I've had no issues uh, at, at distance and so forth. It's been reliable. I barely clean the gun. The bulk air group is super, super dirty. Every once in a while, there's some, some lube on there and then she'll keep running from the back forward, right? So I'm running the Veltor system in here. Great buffer system. I like that a lot, right? Um, just the uh, Magpul, I believe the pro rear sight on yep. there, right? For just a little bit of redundancy in case, right? Even though I'm running a, la uh, a laser on here. Uh, running the scale amount on this one. Uh, this is not the 193, this is the one just below it. And then with my old and faithful H1 from Aimpoint, it's, I don't know, eight, nine years old. It, it's been through a lot, so still running. Um, and then moving forward, I have uh, some rail scales, rail scale, rail scale uh, front grip here as well. And then running the Unity Axon uh, for uh, constant and momentary on both the laser system and the light system. So laser from Steiner, D-Ball, and then the weapon model light is from Mod Light, and that is uh, the OKW, if I'm not mistaken. Gen, Gen 1 OKW. Gen 1 OKW. At that, and I think the most updated thing on your weapon system is that Axon SL. Yeah. Or that Axon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this is kind of the newest thing that I have on here, really. Other than that, like this, is, uh, this has been gear that I've been using a while. You can't see it here, but the, uh, the head a headlamp for the mod light is also broken still works right so it's it's seen it's seen some time i should probably replace it but i just haven't and then also running the surefire um i think it's the ds dso yeah yep right so in case something happens uh my my tape switch breaks or something happens i can still reach over and do momentary constant on so i always have a fell fell safe in place okay so i like to run that system quite a bit um and then going to this side, just running a sling from Centrifuge Training. So this is a good patrol sling. So that way when I'm seated inside a car, I have it stowed away, the sling is not loose uh, somewhere. It doesn't get caught up on something. You know, notice again, it folds on itself, right? So I can quickly take it off and that would get access to the sling. So I'm good to go there. And then once I'm done with it, all I'm gonna do is fold it down. It's a little weird to do it backwards. Right, fold it flat, kind of an S fold, trap it on the retention hook back here. Neat, I like that little hook. And so it'll fold on itself, stowed away nice and neatly. So whether it's in your, you know, you have a patrol raffle bag, uh, uh, usually I had mine right here next to me. So next to me between the center console and my thigh, right? So I, I had to keep that there. So I have quick access to the gun uh, and it doesn't get in the way. So I have that. And then last but not least, a couple of items considering for just uh, ease of use with the rifle. Obviously I have a ambidextrous or ambi charging handle. I'm a big fan of the rating ones, right? This one has seen a lot of miles and hasn't broken on me yet. Um, so I can access this on both sides, right? So if any time, maybe let's say for injured shooter aspects, uh, the hand goes down and the arm goes down, I can still work them pretty aggressively and really manipulate the rifle in, in a couple of different ways. I'm sure we'll show that at some point later. So good ambi uh, charging handle, ambi safety as well, right? So on both sides, I like that, okay? And then on the bolt latch side here, I'd have run a little bit of a extended or a more of a aggressive bolt latch. So that way, if I needed to access the bolt latch or push down on the bolt latch, I could do that potentially with a shoe, right? Let's say I don't have full function of my hands, I can push down on that compared to a stock bolt latch, just a little smaller. So I like to, I like to run this, uh, this aggressive one. One's a, I don't remember the, uh, the manufacturer for this one, so I'm sorry. Uh, but another good manufacturer is Geisley, right? So they make a good one as well. Um, and yeah, man, that's kind of what I run within my patrol rifle system. Nothing too crazy. You notice it's still pretty slick. I try to keep it pretty slick. Excellent. Well, we appreciate you going over that. And if you got any questions for Brian or myself, drop it in the comments. And thanks for watching.
squat position. Follow that threat down. I'll check my six before I get up and I'm good to go there. 